I'm Joanna Baker, the Chief Executive of Child Rescue Nepal. A few months ago, I was in Nepal, where I met a young boy called Sanjeev. He had been rescued by the charity, and he told me his story through an interpreter. Sanjeev comes from a mountain village in eastern Nepal. When the earthquake struck in 2015, he was just 11 years old. He was playing in the woods when huge boulders started falling down the mountains. His friend was killed right in front of him, but the horror didn't end there. His little sister was crushed to death when a neighbour's house collapsed. Sanji's family couldn't afford the funeral costs, so they had to borrow from a moneylender. But the family couldn't make the loan repayments. The earthquake had destroyed everything and they were still living under a plastic sheet. The harvest was months away. A distant relative persuaded them to send Sanjeev to the capital city of Kathmandu to work to pay off the debt. Sanjeev ended up in a metalwork factory that made brass statues for tourists. He worked from dawn to dusk and was beaten if the statues weren't shiny enough. Nitric acid was used as polish and when it spilt on Sanjeev's leg it burnt through his trousers and seared into his skin. At night he slept on a concrete floor with only shreds of plastic sacks to cover him. It was freezing in the winter and Sanjeev huddled up with the other boys just to keep warm. And the few pence that he earned was just pocket money, nowhere near enough to pay off the family's debt. It might have been never ending, but Sanjeev was one of the lucky ones. Last year, we went with the local police to raid the factory and we rescued Sanjeev along with 12 other boys. We took them to our safe house where they received medical care and counselling. Seven children were able to return home immediately, but six of them, including Sanjeev, are still in our care. Rescued children are reunited with their families wherever possible, but sometimes it's just not safe for a child to return home. Then we will look after them in our small family homes, which cost just £36 a week for each child. The great news is, that Sanjeev and the other boys from the metalwork factory recently went back to school. And we will continue to support them into adulthood if that's what's needed. Since 1999, our charity has rescued nearly 700 children, but there are thousands more, like Sanjeev, who still need our help. These families have been tricked by traffickers, and the boys and girls are hidden at the back of shops, factories, restaurants and hotels. We even know where they are, but we need your help to rescue them. Please support us in whatever way you can. Thank you so much.